Well, I expect that we'll have a thoroughly good family supper. It's a sort of mainly French dinner, okay? As soon as we walked in, I smelt it and we were both like, this is going to be good. <laughs> this is the best hospitality I've ever been a part of. For the last four years, William Abel, a World War II veteran, and his wife Anna have welcomed American soldiers into their home for dinner during the annual D-Day celebrations. But this year is special. Mm, not bad. I thought, well, because we're supposed to be giving you a French taste of French life and food, um, that's what I'm trying to do. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> it is like one of the biggest events that they ever look forward to. And you can tell that just by just the way they talk. I mean, they set up everything. This scene played out all across Normandy as U.S. and foreign national soldiers and families formed friendships that will last a lifetime. For the Ables and their dinner guests, the airborne soldiers had a surprise to mark the occasion. I'm a baritone. Oh, sorry. You're a baritone? Yes. These guys are singers. I think they're singing for their supper. Not not <laughs> they belong to the 82nd Airborne's very own All American Chorus and gave a unique performance for their hosts. And we know the sacrifice. Oh, and I don't want to die for you. But if dying is asking me, I'll bear that cross with honor. Cause freedom don't come free. Thank you.